Hey YouTube, I thought I'd do a short video today. This is, I'm outside and it's kind of windy, so I'm sorry about the wind noise. So this is whether or not you should buy an electric bike or something else. So this is going to be based on disabilities, pretty much. I have an ankle disability on both ankles. The cause is, I have no cartilage left in my right ankle. I'm too young for an ankle replacement. So I'm kind of at, either I have it uh, fused or I deal with the pain. Right now I choose to deal with the pain. It's not really extreme yet, but it does cause me at times to rethink a lot of things. So here's what I started with. Over here this is a, a scooter, uh, Knee W18. This is what I was riding for the last three seasons, summer seasons. Uh, it's been reliable, 20, 12 miles, uh, 12 to 15 miles in range, depending on tr f how flat it is. Somebody lighter would get much more out of it, but that's what I get. It's a 12 amp battery in it, uh, lead acid. And then I have my electric bike here, the e-bike. Um, so if you have balance issues, an electric bike or uh, a two-wheel scooter is going to be uh, the wrong answer for you. Uh, balance as in if you can't hold your balance or if you wave back and forth when you stand, it's probably going to be a bad choice for you to try to get an e-bike. Unless it's a three-wheel e-bike, then you're talking something like this. This is 700 bucks on eBay right now or Amazon. Uh, my bike or my electric scooter like this has about a, uh, probably getting close to a thousand plus miles on it. Uh, I've had some issues with it, but uh, and some of the issues would have been beyond most people's ability to repair. Uh, mine has a new display on it. This is my wife's. Mine has a new display and some other things I've had to do with it. But uh, with a little prevention, that could have been, that wouldn't, it would have stopped it. I just didn't realize it was going to be an issue until after it was. Um, my electric bike, no issues so far. Um, so if you're having problems with balance, then it's not going to be. If your ankle's already been fused, then you can ride a bike safely. Um, if you're using a walker, this is your choice here, and probably a good choice. You can stand up. You have something to support yourself. It's pretty stable. you got to be careful when backing up, though. If you're backing up, that third uh, wheel on the back ain't going to actually do much to stop you from tipping over. Um, it only has one brake, a drum brake on the front, and it's adequate. It's not good, it's just adequate. Um, 15 miles an hour speed, and it's controllable. It has three settings, uh, low, four miles an hour, mid, which is, I think, about eight, and then the high speed is as fast as it'll go, which is a 15, 16 miles an hour. Um, so, your choices are only limited by your physical abilities. This, I can stand up and ride all day. Uh, my e-bike, I can pedal as long as I don't have to put a lot of pressure on the pedal. I'm good to go. Uh, this is exercise. This may be just getting out and enjoying nature. Uh, it'll go a lot of places. Uh, it will climb some fairly steep hills. But it's not going to go places this will go, or up hills this will go. Uh, they make these in the 800 watt, uh, 800 uh, watt range. Uh, I imagine they'll climb just about anything you want to climb, uh, and the speed's going to be around 25 miles an hour. This would be dangerous at 25 miles an hour. The only thing we've done to our scooter so far, really, as far as uh, her scooter is we put new tires on the back they won't last very long and they're too they're easy to change it's anything you get a five millimeter allen wrench tear the it's a two-piece wheel and it comes apart and you put the new tire on and you bolt it back together it's 
fairly easy. Um, so, if you can ride a bike, you can ride any bike. If you use a walker or some other mobility device, I would recommend a scooter like this. Uh, this is a great, great scooter. Uh, it's, it, it's well designed and it will go as far as most people want to go. I mean, 12 miles on a scooter, you're going to, you're going to know it, but it's a great, great. If you need to go out and walk your dog, you don't have to go fast. It has a twist throttle. It has a brake lever. It has a battery uh, gauge on it, but no speedometer, none of that. You could add it with a little effort, but it'd be a, it'd be uh, a technical thing. Um, so, uh, these are rated to 300 pounds, right at my limit. Uh, this is rated to 330, uh, so you can choose uh, that if you're heavy. I have not seen any that weren't ra were rated over 400 pounds. Now, there's a couple of brands out there that are really expensive, and the only thing they have is a lithium battery, and... Uh, I've heard that the range isn't any better, so I wouldn't spend the money to buy uh, a lithium battery at this point because they think they can be skimpy on uh, how many amp hours it's rated. Uh, if you can find one with a large amp hour rating, more than 15 amp hours, then you might consider buying that. Uh, they make these in three-wheel drive where all the wheels are driven. Uh, it's going to be better for off-terrain use, but uh, you can go over grass and stuff like this. You're not going to go very fast, but you can go over grass and uh, mildly uneven uh, stuff. You can go on a, a gravel trail or a dirt trail that's packed, uh, and that's okay for that. Um, I guess that's about all I have so this video will be titled which should I buy now I'm gonna take e-bikes for what they're worth uh, if you are going to do a lot of off-roading or uh, non paved trail non uh, gravel trail where you're trying to do what a mountain bike will do you're gonna want a bigger wheel than a 20 inch wheel uh, the bigger the wheel, the easier it'll roll over stuff. So if you have a root in the trail, it'll roll over it a lot easier. These wide tires will make up for some of it, but they, they're they not meant for serious off-roading. Uh, if you don't need a folding bike, don't buy one. Uh, I'm going to tell you, it's more of a gimmick than it is anything else. We bought them so that we could fit them in our, our trailer when we buy them. My wife's bike isn't here yet. It's supposed to be here on Monday. So when I get hers, I might do an unboxing video, but I don't know. There's so many unboxing videos out there of uh, e-bikes that I don't see the value in doing much more. Um, so we're going to get hers on Monday. I'm going to get it all set up, uh, get her mirror and her uh, her seat that she bought on it and uh, get her riding. We both need the exercise. Uh, so that's, uh, if you don't need a 20 inch folding bike, don't buy one. Just buy a regular size one. You're gonna find it more comfortable, uh, go fit more places, uh, maybe a little better range because uh, a 26 inch wheel uh, takes a little more to get it going, but there's more uh, um, motion to carry it forward or more momentum to carry it forward so and it's going to go faster uh, it's 20 inch wheel this motor on a 26 inch wheel, wheel would go much faster than it does on a 20 inch wheel uh, more accessories more tire choices at 26 inch uh, you're going to have uh, a lot more choices when it comes to things available for it uh, 20 inch is a niche market right now so and it may improve in the future. Well, I'm going to call it a day today. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, 
leave them in the comments. Uh, I anybody who will tell you on my channel, I, I've answered every comment. If it doesn't require a worded answer, I'll at least let you know I've seen it. Thank you. Have a great day.